Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bodybuilding News Network. We have some physique updates from Hottie Chupin, Stuart Sutherland, a.k.a. Beef Stew, and Vlad Suhuruchko. So if you're interested in that type of content, definitely consider staying by and subscribing. But if you're new here, I'm your host here on BNN, Josh Sanch. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another video. Now let's go ahead and start off with Hottie Chupin sharing some recent physique updates. And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time we've gotten to see a close-up, in-depth, high-definition physique update from the, uh, I don't want to say former, right? Like, is it, uh, it's like a Navy SEAL. If you, you know, once an Olympia champion, always an Olympian champion. Uh, I'm not too sure what, how that, uh, how that works, but we are getting to see a, uh, some more recent physique updates from Hadi Chupin. And I think that, you know, being one month away from the Olympia, I think he still looks relatively good. And the question has to be asked, and, you know, I like to keep it pretty exciting here. The question I'd like to ask, and I'm sure all of you would like to, to know as well, is do you think Hadi Chupin might do another show besides just doing back-to-back -back Olympias? like he has been. Now, I will say that he has not really done any other shows since qualifying for the Olympia. Uh, he's been taking advantage of that top five or the first call-out ruling for the Men's Open for quite a while now, the last several, several years. And now that it's the just the top three, uh, it doesn't really matter for him because he is a Mr. Olympia, so he's going to be qualified for life. But Looking at that physique update, it does make me wonder, is he staying in this level of good conditioning just because it's only been a month out? Or does he have some plans of maybe doing an Arnold Classic? You know, he could come into the Arnold Ohio, and I think he would be a very, very dominant force there. And free money, ladies and gentlemen. So, And he doesn't have visa issues. So that's my thought. I definitely think it might be possible. But let me know down below your thoughts on Hadi Chupin. Vlad Suharuchko did not uh, finish, okay? He did compete this year. He did compete at the Olympia, but but he did not finish. And uh, I, I don't really get what's going on with this guy. I mean, he's, he's a very young competitor, very young talent, but just seems to have some issues with the Olympia. You know, one year he didn't go, and then this year... Uh, or at least last year, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm super confused, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the guy's just all over the place, and when it comes to the Olympia, it just seems that he just hasn't been able to bring the right amount of conditioning, and I love the guy, he's, you know, one of these big names out of Ukraine, and he's very young as well, I thought the last time I saw his age, he was 26, so the guy's creeping up on 30 years old, super young, and has all, ladies and gentlemen, has all the muscle he could possibly need. So he doesn't need to add any more muscle on the current frame he has. He simply just needs to perfect it and bring that perfect conditioning that we get to see on Instagram to the real world, to the Olympia stage. And this is the footage from, as you can see, this is Las Vegas, so the 2022 Olympia. And there were some issues with that show that did affect people's uh, overall presentation and their package that they brought to the stage, you know, the delayed time getting on stage. People were three, four, five hours late from getting on stage and the backstage conditions were terrible. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff that went wrong that year. So to be fair to Vlad here, this isn't his best package. He even said that in his post that this was far from his best physique he's ever bought. But I'm wondering what he needs to do to perfect it. Let me know your thoughts and, and what he needs to do to bring that perfect package to the Olympia. Stuart Sutherland, a.k.a. Beef Stew, was recently on Desktop Bodybuilding talking about his recent physique updates and his plans of, ladies and gentlemen, competing in the New York Pro. Yes, you heard it right. Stuart Sutherland, along with some other huge names like Tony O'Burton and uh, Antoine Viand and uh, a few others, ladies and gentlemen. I'll put out a picture uh, on the Instagram. Make sure you stay tuned for that. But he was sharing uh, some awesome physique updates here, as you can see, coming into the New York Pro. Probably around 20 weeks-ish, maybe even more. We're about 12 weeks out from the Arnold Classic Ohio, so we do have quite a bit of time before we get to see these guys 
get on stage. We are going to have a very short off season before the Arnold Classic. So around eight weeks out from the Arnold, things will start firing up. So you've got about four weeks of downtime where bodybuilding news might be a little slow, but I'm going to do my best to make sure it's not. I'm your host here on the Bodybuilding News Network, Josh Sanch. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow.